Um, what I want to do today is kind of introduce uh, to most of you here about presbyopia therapies. By the, by the name, you can see it's a therapy, a therapeutic, a novel therapeutic for the treatment of presbyopia. We have uh, named the product tentatively Liquid Vision. And I think we're trying to approach this very differently, perhaps. And I want to review some of that with you as well, because it kind of starts with, why can't you do this with an eye drop? I mean, there's so many other things that are treated with therapeutics. Um, why can't you treat presbyopia with that? Uh, and what about the market? It look, it's so big. Why can't we treat the majority of people out there? Why does it have to be a smaller uh, segment, so to speak? So uh, let me walk through this, uh, if I may, for about the next five minutes. We all know the market is so big. Um, you know, over 100 million in the U.S., we've seen the same numbers, close to 2 billion uh, uh, today globally. And I think this market opportunity ha was recently validated, totally validated, by the acquisition, the merger between Novartis uh, and Encore Vision. I would certainly want to recognize both of those companies. Great job. There are people here today. And I think, as much as anything, that is really, again, total validation of the potential and what people are believing can happen over time. Uh, as Gil showed in his slides, very limited treatment options today. The spectacles, contact lenses, primarily been around for centuries, believe it or not. Uh, refractive surgery, of course, is new and evolving and growing, so it's, it's real. What we're trying to do is create a whole new category around lifestyle enhancement. And I'll talk more about this in just a moment uh, because that's how we think about it. And we want a daily therapy, a daily drop. Um, we're not trying to permanently replace glasses or contact lenses. So I'll speak more about that uh, as well as our regulatory status. What we want to be able to do is very simply, in theory, is improve both near vision without distance vision blur. Think of it as uh, like your f-stop on a camera for that total depth of enhancement. Sounds simple. Obviously, it's never been done before with the drop. As we know, there are no therapeutics approved today. But that's what we are attempting to do. As I mentioned, a daily drop. Uh, and I'll talk more about that. We believe fast acting is key. Put it in your eye, about 30 minutes later, the drug takes effect. Uh, to have something that takes days, weeks, or months before you see uh, the, the drug taking effect, we believe is problematic as far as adoption is concerned. We want the drop to last about five hours, minimum. Uh, it, may, it may last a lot longer, but we want a good five hours. Uh, prescription drug, elective, of course, and again, as I've talked about, we are trying to complement other modalities out there. We're not anti-glasses, spectacles, other techniques at all. What we want to do is complement them. And we believe that if the patient has the option, there will be times uh, where a patient will prefer to use a daily drop versus other, other modalities. So I think it's a, perhaps a different thinking and positioning. So how do we do this? We started with... Um, a myotic drug, Dr. Herb Kaufman and others, pilocarpine. We want to give AccuFocus credit here. We want to create a pinhole effect on the, uh, the pupil, with the pupil, not try to do anything on the surface of the cornea or inside the cornea. We believe you, to have a super pinhole effect, you need about two millimeters or smaller. We were unable to do that with pilocarpine, and many people here uh, have tried pilo as well. You do get some effect, clearly. Uh, but it also is in part inducing um, accommodation, and the result of that can be brow ache and also uh, blurry distance vision. So we were not successful doing just that. Uh, we then went to a stronger myotic to give us this su super pinhole effect uh, below two millimeters, and then we introduce uh, that's um, a cyclidine. We introduce a second drug, a second active ingredient, a cycloplegic, tropicamide. The physicians here all are very familiar with that to deal with the accommodation. You have to be able to deal with that, uh, and it's a combination, it's the ratio, if you will, of these two drugs working together in tandem. Our phase two trial, we did it last year. Uh, we feel very good about that. Uh, it was a, a, a very typical 2A trial, dosing, safety, and efficacy. What we learned was on a single dose, multiple time points. Remember, it's a one-day trial, 30 minutes, one hour, three, five, seven hours of measurements, for example. 
multiple distance points uh, as well. And what we saw was a single dose improvement in near vision acuity versus placebo. So that was very encouraging. The drug had a good safety profile, <clears throat> uh, but we also learned some things. And we are now back starting our phase 2B trial uh, at the end of this month with what we believe is an, uh, a more powerful formulation uh, and also uh, an improved uh, protocol. We'll have data available, AAO, uh, in less than six months, 30-minute onset, five-hour duration, and again, three lines of vision. So that's a quick overview of presbyopia therapies and liquid vision. Thank you.